so let's start with our today's topics that is theory weightage and practical weightage of uh, mbbs uh, first year and uh, under pondicherry university in anatomy paper 1 there will be upper limb lower limb abdomen and pelvis abdomen and pelvis carries 31 mark with is uh, one essay and uh, three five mark questions and subsequently uh, upper limb and lower limb will carry 20 marks so we'll start with the upper limb upper limb there will be majorly asked are uh, now uh, now as a 10 mark question and uh, shoulder joint uh, brachial plexus uh, radial nerve uh, median nerve uh, and uh, ala nerve uh, cubital fossa uh, axillary nerve uh, etc so uh, I, co- i covered this superficially next lower limb femoral triangle hip joint uh, gluteus maxillary muscle under the structures sciatic nerve uh, arches of foot venous drainage of the lower limb that is uh, greater uh, sciatic vein uh, and the knee joint and sometimes uh, two five marks can be asked as one 10 mark and next the abdomen and pelvis inguinal canal uh, kidney stomach duodenum portal uh, portal canal anastomosis urinary bladder prostate uterus and its uh, attachments rectum and anal canal ischio rectal fossa extra biliary apparatus liver and kidney these are some of the uh, 10 mark questions and uh, in the subsequent videos i will cover the 10 mark questions five mark questions and uh, some of the mcqs topics general histology and systemic histology most of the students are uh, neglecting this histology topic but in as per our pondicherry university the total histology carries 40 marks from theory and practicals so if you practice at least one diagram per day and you can uh, master the histology why because uh, easily you can get 4 to 4 and 1/2 marks and next uh, general embryology and systemic embryology uh, this embryology also will carry around 40 marks from the right now at least pick one important topic from the embryology one important topic from the histology why because you can study an upper limb lower limb and abdomen questions at least on the last days but uh, these are dry topics if you study two or three times only you can remember so start focusing on the histology and embryology parts atcom uh, is a five mark question uh, if you fill the one page with uh, some important points uh, you will get four marks that's it for the anatomy paper one now i am moving for the anatomy paper so anatomy paper 2 gives us the thorax head and neck and urine anatomy thorax uh, it will be uh, one essay and uh, one five mark so the main essays from the thorax will be arch of aorta red supply of the heart uh, thoracic duct uh, bronchial pulmonary segments of the lungs and uh, internal features of the right atrium mediastinal surfaces of the lungs next is head and neck two short notes and two essays out of this 20 essays two essays will come dangerous areas scalp posterior triangle of neck dural venous sinuses pituitary gland thyroid gland parotid gland and its ducts extraocular muscles nerves will be seventh cranial nerve is important muscles of mastication temporomandibular joint tongue submandibular salivary glands from the neuro anatomy maxima of maximum they won't ask the 10 mark our pondicherry units from the last 5 years they are asking about 5 mark and 5 mark only not a 10 mark in previous years like 2012 and around 2050 range sometimes they will ask a 10 mark questions from it genetics and uh, general anatomy there will be a book called uh, wisdom singh general anatomy from that book itself uh, you can study these questions systemic histology systemic embryology as is that histology and embryology in the last paper next atcom if you write some of the valid points you can easily get 3 to 4 marks